trigonometry ratios, otherwise known as SOHCAHTOA. Just a reminder that a ratio is a comparison. So if you've got a small thing compared to a large thing, you could say one compared to two. And the opposite would be true. A large thing compared to a small thing, two compared to one. It's all a matter of perspective. So SOHCAHTOA is for right triangles only. Now let's talk about perspective. I have my right triangle. I'm going to label it up A, B, and C. We have three words, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. The hypotenuse of any right triangle is always going to be opposite the right angle. So the hypotenuse is always going to be in this position it never changes. Now looking at A's perspective, from A's perspective, this would be the opposite side. I'll use OPP for short. And again, from A's perspective, this would be the adjacent side, ADJ for short. Adjacent is a fancy mathematical word simply meaning beside or next to. So adjacent means beside or next to. Now from B's perspective, it's a little different. This becomes the opposite side, and this becomes the adjacent side. It depends on which angle you are looking from. So we're looking from this angle at the moment and you can see the opposite and adjacent. Now, SOHCAHTOA is a mnemonic, a simple memory tool. So, SO, the first letter means sine, and then opposite over hypotenuse. We're talking about the trigonomic ratios. And remember, a ratio is a comparison. So sine is the comparison of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. Ka, or cosine, there's your C, A, and H, adjacent over hypotenuse. And toa means tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. This mnemonic becomes very, very clear after you've used the ratios just for a little while. Okay, I've got a right triangle labeled 3, 4, 5 for its side lengths. Label the vertices again A, B, and C. And the ratios are not for the right angle, it's for the other two vertices from the point of A and from the point of B. So from A's perspective, sine which is opposite over hypotenuse, would be 4 compared to 5. Cosine is adjacent compared to the hypotenuse, which will be 3 over 5. And tangent will be opposite over adjacent which will be 4 over 3. At this point, you want to reduce these fractions into a decimal. And please do it to four decimal places. So 4 over 5 is 0 0.8000. 3 over 5 would be 0. 6, 0, 0, 0, and 4 over 3 will be 1.3, and it repeats, but we're just going to go to four decimal places. Now, from B's perspective, it's going to be the opposite. So sine of B, from B's perspective, opposite 
over hypotenuse is 3 over 5. Cos would be adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent would be opposite over adjacent. Reduce those to decimals, and you get 0 0.6. 0 0.8, tuck this one underneath, and 0 0.7500. You may notice at this point that cos of b and sine of a are the same values, and cos of a and sine of b are the same values. When you're using your calculator now to calculate sine, cosine, and tangent, please, please, please set it to degrees. The most common mistake is not checking your calculator, and sometimes it's accidentally set to rads, in which case you'll get completely different answers, wrong answers. Now let's talk about using the sine, cos, and tan buttons on your calculator. Some calculators will function this way. For the first example, you'll put 40 tan and it'll give you the answer. Or other calculators will work tan 40 and then you'll get the answer. So check your calculator to see if you can come up with 0 0.8391. See how your calculator functions. And now I'm going to write down the answers to the rest of these. Again, check to see if your calculator is coming up with the same values. And we're going to round to the nearest four decimals. I'm going to tuck this one underneath because of my screen. Okay, and tangent 29. 5543. Hopefully you're stopping the video and doing this on your own and then checking with my values. 9063. And the last one is 0 0.8660. And you'll again you'll notice that cos 30 and sine 60 are the same. And that's because 30 plus 60 is 90. They are opposites of each other. Now that you know how to use the sine, cosine, and tangent buttons, we're now going to learn how to use the reverse button. In this case, we're going to find the angle. In the previous slide, we found the ratio. So I've already gone ahead and given you the tangent ratio this is the ratio. So again, on your calculator, determine whether you're going to go sine reverse the number or the number and then the reverse button. In either case, you should get 60 degrees if you're going to the closest degree. Please pause the video and try the next two on your own and see if you get the same answer as I'm about to give you. B will be 52 degrees and C will be 20. Please note that it's always written this way. This is just to tell you which buttons to push depending on your calculator. And now we'll go through three examples using tangent, sine, and cosine, finding an angle, and finding a length. So on the first side, we're going to find both angles to the nearest degree. You can go from S or from R. I'm going to choose to go from S. So from S's perspective, tangent, towa, opposite over adjacent. That's going to equal 5 over 8. And that is going to turn out to be, to four decimals, 0 
0.250. That is the ratio. We don't know the angle, but we know that the ratio is 6250. So the correct way to write it is tan reverse 6250. And that's going to equal angle S. So in this case, to the nearest degree, 32 degrees is angle S. So if this is 32, R has to be 58. Those two angles are complementary angles, so they have to add to 90. Now on the other half of the slide, we're going to find the height. We're going to find the length. So we want to know what that value is. Again, simply using tangent, we'll say tangent 72 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. So opposite is H, adjacent is 30. We're going to find H in one step by using cross multiplication. So 30, I'm going to put this in brackets to make it really clean multiplied by tangent 72, and that's going to give you h. Remember cross multiplication. When you've got nothing underneath a value, there's that hidden one. So if you can do this completely in your calculator, all in one step, again, figure out if you can go 30 tan 72, or if you have to do tan 72 first and then multiply by 30. Whichever way you go, you should get this result. And it's an approximation to the nearest, oh, to the nearest uh, meter. So that's the tangent ratio used two different ways. Once to find the degree and once to find a length. And now our sine examples. We're going to find the angle at S to the nearest degree. Sine is so, or opposite, over hypotenuse. So sine, angle S, equals 8 compared to 17, which is 0 0.4706. Reverse the ratio to give you the angle. And that will be 28 degrees. We found angle S. If I asked for both of those angles, this would be 62. S and R have to add up to 90. On the next half of the slide, we're going to find the length of JK, otherwise known as lowercase l. It's opposite the vertice of capital L. Again, sine is opposite over adjacent. I want to simply to use sine, no other ratios at this point, to practice using the sine ratio. So from L's perspective, we can't use sine because we don't know the value. But we can certainly go from J. So sine angle J equals opposite over hypotenuse which is 0 0.6800. Reverse that value. And you will get 43 degrees. If this is 43, this is 47. And now from L's perspective, we can figure out the length of JK. So now we're going to go from L's perspective. So sine L equals JK, or little l, compared to 25. We know that the angle of L is 47. So sine 47 equals JK over 25. 
So cross multiply. And that's going to give you JK. And again, either put sine 47 and multiply it by 25 or the opposite. But the value you should get is 18.2. And now our last ratio, cosine, otherwise known as ka. So cos is adjacent compared to the hypotenuse. Find angle B to the nearest degree. So cos, angle B is 5 compared to 13. In decimal form, 3, 8, Four, six. Reverse. And that will give you 67 degrees. If B is 67, E is 23. Now let's find the length of W to the nearest meter. Remember W Lowercase w is opposite the vertice capital W. Again, we're restricted to use cosine. So we can't go from y's perspective, so we must go from w. So cos angle w equals the adjacent compared to the hypotenuse to four decimal places. Four, five, eight, three. Reverse that to give you the angle. So it's zero point four, five, eight, three, and that's going to equal sixty three degrees. If that's sixty three, then y is twenty seven. And now we can find the length of W. So cos 27 equals the adjacent, which is W, which is what we're trying to find, compared to the hypotenuse. Cross multiply. And you will get the length of W. Again, figure out what your calculator does. It's either 24 cos 27 or cos 27 times 24. In either case, you will get W equaling 21. And that's it. That is Sokotoa with basic functions, figuring out angles and side lengths. So how does this work? It works because of the principle of similar triangles. The ratios sine, cosine, and tangent are always going to give you the same angle. So if we're talking about this perspective, let's say this side is 6 and that side is 8. And then we go to the longer side length. And that side length is 12. And the opposite is 9. If you do tangent A, which is opposite over hypotenuse, you are going to get 0 0.75. If you do the small triangle, tangent A equals opposite over hypotenuse, 6 divided by 8, you're going to get 0 point seven five when you reverse both of those numbers you're going to get approximately the same angle of 36.8 degrees and that will work for each and every ratio thanks for listening